hey guys back to a new video today i have with me the new peugeot 308 station wagon 2022 version uh, estate version and in this video we will drive the car and i will give you my feedback how it's on the road but before we do that i want to give you some technical data and i want to tell you that i'm here in switzerland at gallicar garage if you want to see the car if you want to test drive the car if you're around here check them out guys also tell them you see my video you come from me and you will get a nice discount if you will buy the car as i said the version that i have with me 308 station wagon 1.2 liter petrol engine pure tech comes with 130 horsepower and this is the allure pack if you want to see the full review with the same car interior exterior there i explain everything about the car i have a separate video full review so check out that video guys the price of the car the basis price 35,100 francs with all these options included here you can read it and pause the video if you want to see it but this car have also some optionals down here for example 360 degrees camera totally recommended it has also heated windshield it has pack drive assistant plus a few things that i will definitely take it on my car and the price of the car will go to 38,200 francs but here at gallicar garage you have 2,000 francs discount so that means the final price will be 36,200 francs so those are the uh, most important information but i want to go a little bit deeper with the technical information before we go before we start driving so as i said the car come with a 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line the power of the car 130 horsepower 230 newton meters it's a front wheel drive and it's connected with eight speed automatic transmission the consumption of the car vltp estimated 5.8 liters fuel tank capacity 52 liters co2 emission vltp 129 grams top speed of the car 210 km per hour 0 to 109.9 seconds also the car come with ventilated brake discs on the front normal brake discs on the rear 17 inch rims the trunk capacity 608 liters and if you fold down the seat completely 1634 liters but more about that in the full review video so check that out as well also the car come with front suspension independent mcpherson coil spring with anti-roll bar rear suspension independent cross arm torsion bar with anti-roll bar so those are the most important information let's drive the car guys and in the end we will make the conclusion all right guys let's drive the car first of all this is the key the same key as peugeot used it as uh, on the previous version of the cars also older model the only difference is the new peugeot logo right here uh, what you can do with the key lock and unlock the car also it comes with electric folding mirrors if you want to see the full review i explain everything about the car i have a separate video guys a full review check out that video if you want to find out interior exterior and all that technical data about the car we have normal pedals no aluminum pedals on this allure pack version also manual adjustable seats with one function electric adjustable only this part here it goes up and down leather with soft material the seats super comfortable seat as peugeot uses with mega comfortable i like that also the sound of the door when you close it it's very good so it has a very very good quality on the door so you can hear it one one more time great great quality also what i notice is that the visibility around the windows is just perfect also uh, great visibility in the mirrors big mirrors big mirror up here great visibility in the back there i like the cocoon design of the of the dashboard and also perfect position on those seats i feel really comfortable i feel like i can drive a lot of kilometers press the brake here's the start stop engine button the car come with uh, the eight speed transmission and it comes with this shift by wire transmission down here it's awesome it's the same as volkswagen have as well it's awesome it's really much better to don't have that big stick here and we have so so clean and nice modern design the car come also with 360 degrees camera and it has gorgeous resolution for the front and reverse camera you can see right here from the side camera the resolution is not that good but still very 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 good uh, in my opinion also you can choose how you like to see it uh, the angle and the wide angle uh, really nice also you have a manual function you have m here if you press the m function you can change the gear with those pedals behind the steering wheel steering wheel classic for peugeot the same shape same cool nice 
uh, steering wheel I like it very very much it's very easy to drive it very soft and also you have a good visibility from the upper side you can see the cockpit directly right there is the e-cockpit it's not the 3d cockpit but it's it's the newest this one and you also you can customize the way you want it there I explained that in the review video so if you want to find out more about those things check out that video guys the full review there I explain you everything about the cockpit about the multimedia I have also separate video with the cockpit and multimedia the parking button it's also here and here you have two buttons where you can change the different driving mode we have echo mode sport mode and normal mode so you can change them from here the way you want it climatic system we have physical button down here and also the touch screen this is the new multimedia system from Peugeot if you want to find out everything about it I have a separate video on my channel there I show you also how to connect the Android phone or Apple phone with it climatic system it's on because it's super hot outside and I need that I really need it you have physical button here for climatic system and you have also uh, buttons integrated and controllers integrated in the screen it's very responsive this new screen and I like it very very much I hope you can hear me well because I will leave the air conditioning to uh, run for the purpose of the video because it's incredible hot here and also the camera will get hot anyway if you want to drive it press the brake put it in drive just like that simple uh, and now let's drive the car um, actually I would like to put it on to the climatic system I make a little bit silent because I want to tell you something electronic handbrake by the way but what I notice is that the car doesn't come with auto hold this is the first downside that I find on the uh, on the car other than that it's very smooth everything feels so smooth like in an electric car over the bumps it's doing fine the suspension are also quite good on the car and also here are big bumps but steering wheel right now we are in echo mode steering wheel it's very soft the engine it's very After silent hundred meters go around the roundabout fourth I exit five i will end this navigation system because it will bother me from time to time so uh, as i said the engine this 1.2 liter pure tech engine it's crazy silent and I see that they work on insulation on the hood and also inside there to the engine they insulate it very very well and it's very silent it's 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 running so smooth that it's almost like an electric car this is first thing second thing the steering it's very assisted and it feels very very comfortable to drive it even though it's a family estate car station wagon a big car it's very easy to drive it the second thing the suspension are super good super comfortable they are um, incredible smooth to ride over the bumps I like that very very much and French uh, designers and uh, mechanics they are well known for good suspension on their cars and it's no um, change in this new Peugeot 308 station wagon great visibility at least for me I see perfect on the cockpit very good visibility here and I like the fact that they tilt it to the driver a little bit um, the multimedia system easy to maneuver 5.8 liters is the estimated consumption of the car um, and I don't know if we can somehow manage to see it here echo I forget to reset the consumption anyway it should be around 5.8 liter maybe in real life around 6.5 around there this 8-speed transmission it's also very smooth uh, you don't even feel when it's changed the gears up or down it doesn't matter it's work really really fine if we change for example the driving mode let's go to normal mode right now in normal mode um, the car should be a little bit more responsive so you can see when you accelerate it's a little bit more responsive and in sport mode it should be even more responsive so that's that's really really cool so if we go now in sport mode and you try to accelerate you can see also the color is changed to red will accelerate even more aggressively even though this 1.2 liter 
is not three cylinders is not that powerful uh, it feels enough for our fault to be honest at least up to 120 km per hour is just perfect you don't need more uh, than that and also you will have a very good consumption good visibility I can say perfect visibility in the mirrors I like very much the shape of the mirrors I think they are one of the best mirrors rear mirrors here on the side I like them very much the size is perfect the visibility it's, it's incredible good on the back there uh, and also up here on this mirror it's also I can say it's very very good visibility uh, very good comfort on the seats I feel crazy comfortable like I can drive even for many kilometers without any problem you can see right here how smooth it is and right now the climatic system it's it's on and it's very very silent inside the cabin sound insulation also very good you can hear a little bit of noise from the road because the road down here is not that good but no complaining it feels like a premium car I can say with my hands on my heart that it is it, it's a crazy feeling like a premium car with a discounted price because the price is not like a premium car like a Mercedes for example but to be honest my yesterday I review Mercedes the new Mercedes or for, before yesterday the new Mercedes EQE and it feels crazy smooth it's, it's from other planet but now when I drive this 308 I can see that it has some of that feeling that nice premium feeling added to it and I like it very much now here if you want to try an acceleration it's pulling slowly the power 9.9 .9 seconds 0 to 100 km per hour is not incredible but for the purpose of the car for a family I think the car should do just fine lovely car um, and really easy to drive the steering it's very smooth and very nice you go in reverse you have very good resolution when you go in reverse you can see perfectly there you have sensors in the front on the rear um, even the mirror it's tilting down when you go in reverse if you pull the power like that the car it's taking the power really nice when you already have a, a few kilometer per hour um, I like it I like how it feels and also it feels a little bit like a boat it feels super comfy when you go left and right so suspension are like my taste I love those kind of suspension uh, those kind of suspension are those suspension that are soft and smooth and nice and you go over the bumps you feel comfortable you drive many kilometers without any problem without having any pain or any problem with your back or whatever and I think you can get also gorgeous suspension so Peugeot was well, well known for, for good consumption on the cars the steering you probably wonder in sport mode of course it feels a little bit more stiffer if we go back to eco mode not yeah it's a little bit more softer right now it's softer it's really feel that and if you go to normal mode yeah normal it's the same as echo I should say but in sport mode it's a little bit more different so if we may if we have if I have to say a recapitulation if I would say again or overall visibility perfect suspension very good uh, power acceleration good for the purpose of the car um, pedals feel smooth and nice steering wheel everything here inside the cabin feel very good quality feel premium yeah I don't know very good comfort uh, on those seats super comfortable climatic system work perfect uh, I like the fact that the screen is tilted to me to the driver and uh, you have more better visibility than other cars big screen 
I don't know if I if I ask something more from this car and the price is very good for such a big car family car a lot of space a lot of practicality you can see the full review there you can find out more information a lot of USB ports the only thing that I wish it has on the car and I didn't find it is the auto hold function I don't know why they didn't integrate it in the car other than that I have no complaining about the car it's 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 a lovely 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 car also you have autopilot by the way you can set it up from here uh, from the left side you can press this assist function and then the cruise control and autopilot will work um, so right now it's on so if you want to set it up you press this button here cruise control okay put it to 54 and right now the cruise control will hold the distance between you and the car in front will hold the speed and will also brake for you so this is also look at this it's braking right now it's a great great system um, the lane assist were uh, it's working fine on the highway you don't have any problem at all let's let's try it again here if we go to 50 set it up distance between you and the car in front 50 like that I think it's around 60 here and you can see right now it's working I don't know if you can see it on the cockpit there but it's it's working it's holding the speed for me um, of course you can choose the distance between you and, uh, and the car in front and yeah this is right now if you press this assist button you can see a steering wheel there that means the car will also steer it comes with this auto steer here it's a little bit dangerous I don't know because of this truck but right now I have to let me again right now and you can see right now it's holding the the, the lanes for me and it's doing a good job and on the highway it's work almost perfect this new autopilot from Peugeot it's really really good they improve it a lot and you can see even on those small streets um, it's doing super good so imagine on the highway um, how good will 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 do so again we can test it again here if you want to but I know because I tested before and I know it's doing super super nice it's super super good so for example right now it's on you put it on 50 or however you want whatever speed you want to put it and you can see I will have the hand here for the safety purpose but you can see that it's doing just fine and you can choose the the speed you can choose the distance it stays really good between the lanes on the highway it's working perfectly it stays from time to time put your hand on the steering wheel then you put your hand and then it's working again and you can see it's lovely I mean it's doing just perfect it stays perfect between the lanes now you have to take the control and the roundabouts like on all cars including Tesla wow it's so easy on the on the roundabout it's so easy to drive this this Peugeot I like it so much it's so easy to, to turn it on you just press it once up and right now the car it's driving for you and here you cannot he cannot see so well the lanes and still is doing a great job so anyway that was a great great job great 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 car um, to be honest um, I will drive this car happily and if I compare it for example with my model 3 Tesla um, I have to say that I feel like it's more premium it has much more quality inside here um, and the price it's much much better anyway gorgeous car 10 point if I remember what 10.7 meters is the turning radius of the car and we will test it also right now if I have place here I think I don't have any space to do that um, but yeah look at this uh, if I go in reverse you can see how easy you can park it because you have these 360 degrees cameras it's crazy easy to park it and I park it right here just like that very easy the steering wheel it's incredible easy to maneuver that was the test drive guys i hope you enjoy it i hope you get some useful information my rating for this new peugeot 308 station wagon allure pack 
from 1 to 10 will be 9.9 .9. it's a lovely car it feels super premium when you drive it it feels like high quality car in the interior and the price it's relatively good if i look at the price if i remember what 36,200 francs for a family car it's it's really good price i think it's the best uh, offer quality uh, price on the market today anyway that was the video i hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate for that if you want to see the full review with the same car i have a separate video on my channel so check that out also if you want to buy the car if you want to see the car check out garage galliker in switzerland they have great price tell them you see my video you come from me you will get a nice discount uh, i will leave the link in the description if you want to check them out that was the video if you have question ask me down below stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.